All right, let's see if we can try. I don't want to play mage. Let's play priest. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh crap! I clicked the wrong one. Ah, uh, this is a red beard mage though. This is a nice red beard mage start here. She just sold the deck on the Chinese trading sites. Man, I probably couldn't even get twenty-one cents for that one. I could probably only get like eleven. All right, let's take razor jaw. Ed, you have a hacker on your mouse, and my mouse got hacked. Let's take arc splitter. Trash here. I think Wisdom's better than Sanctum, as sad as that is, that we have to pass one. I, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, I kind of want Sweeper more than Volpeer, but I guess this can be Infinitize, right? Star power. That one's good. Trash here. Do we take a Trash Mech or a Trash Undead? It's a good question. I think I'll just take a Trash 2. I think I'll run a Fire Cell. Fire Cell's okay. Babbling over Archaeologist. We do have a, a counter spell, but let's grab a Babbling here. Oh, that's Gigapoo. Um, I think I'll just take Pelican because it's cheap. Take a Geyser. Okay, not looking like a strong mage so far. Uh, Click Clock over Loot Hoarder. Yeah, I, I just don't want a Loot Hoarder ever. All right, let's take a Reverberation. That one's a good removal spell. Double star power. Man, we could have had so many C4 gateways. Let's take a rewind. Good when you have things like... Uh, oh, lord. It's good when you have things like star power. Neutral mage. Okay, we'll turn all of our crappy spells into um, the scourge or uh, front lines or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's take a two. Wish it was a bad two drop spell. Let's take a gorilla bot. We could get some more mechs. Man, they really... Uh, they really ain't treating me well, this mage. <laughs> Tonight is not the not the night to get good cards offered, I suppose. I just don't want another one of those. I guess we take this. Take a stranger, I think, over a second uh, fire sale. Uh, I don't really want another one of those. I guess I'll take another rewind. Sanctum and I guess I have an archaeologist, right? Or no? Did I pass an archaeologist? Eh, I guess I'll just take another reverberation. Oh, this is rough. This is a rough night. Luckily, I think I've already committed to like maybe four hours instead of five. I think four is probably the sweet spot. It's a lot easier to have fun when you know you only have to play like another hour or two of arena. I heard Red uh, complaining about Mage, so they stealth nerfed it. I, I wouldn't. I, I would be surprised that they did something productively, proactively. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they worked on some system to fuck Redbeard for always calling them out on their. Their terrible performance. I could see that. It would probably be a retire for me. If I hadn't had to just retire four other decks, uh, two other decks that were as putrid as any deck I've probably ever seen, I probably would. But like I said, I think we just we just won't play too much hurt today and we'll play this one out and see how we feel at the end of this one. But compared to the last mage we had that just went five, uh, this deck is half as strong, a third as strong. It's definitely not strong. <laughs> definitely not good. Hey Red, I've heard this is the Hearthstone Arena motto. And having watched Dreads long enough, I think it's true. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that Lloyd Braun? Is that his name? There's like the first episode with Lloyd Braun might be the funniest episode of Seinfeld. Where like, um... He like forgets his glasses and uh, J Jerry pretends to be wearing glasses. And George is like following down the, uh... Following the, the the restaurant lady, the the hostess at the restaurant who he thinks like stole his twenty dollars or something, or maybe she works at the store. I can't remember. <laughs> Lloyd Braun. They changed the Lloyd Braun actor. I remember that guy. Was there like a maybe it wasn't the first Lloyd Braun? Where you followed? All right, let's do this, and then next turn we can just rip this and see. It's a lot of gum. He was the second Lloyd Braun, I believe. There was one before him. Oh, okay. He's he's the one I remember, the one from the clip. Or the dress doesn't wash his feet. Is this true? That is true, yes. He doesn't wash his legs. Uh, his feet, forget about it, but no. He doesn't wash his legs or his feet. I like the the lady. So then then like the the George's storyline is the best. He's like 
got that girl he runs into from work or something or, or wherever he used to know her and his, her dad like breaks his car but he, like everybody thinks George she thinks George is crazy can you find that clip is this it okay yeah yeah but can you give me the clip of George seeing the lady riding riding by on a horse <laughs> the wheelchair episode Kramer hilarious I, I don't remember them all super well Wow, uh, that card's good at least. No, but I can get that one. Okay, no, okay. Thank you. <laughs> he gave him a hundred, right? <laughs> Fight until you <laughs> Those glasses, too. <laughs> Doesn't Kramer eat like an old hot dog, too? <laughs> Am I crazy or is that hot dog really old? No, you're not crazy. Oh god. Deep Seinfeld, man. Oh man. I wanna see the clip. Cause I can't remember it all, but he's like explaining to the to the woman who already thinks he's crazy. He's like, that's the lady from the shop, you know, who stole my $20. <laughs> No, that is that she's on a horse. I don't know. Wasn't there another bit with a horse where George thinks he sees <laughs> Jerry's girlfriend cheating or something? But it's <laughs> when he loses his glasses, man, a lot of the jokes are related to glasses. Um, was it wasn't that one of the bits like he, he tells Jerry he sees his girlfriend cheating, but he, he wasn't wearing his glasses, and then like all episode he's like yo-yoing back and forth between having like incredible eyesight and horrible eyesight the magic loogie i remember the uh the magic loogie it's all the same that was the same one that was am i, am I right that's all like <laughs> it's like it's like the recollection of it <laughs> I love Newman makes a face off frozen. Uh, so he has three. All right, let's ping here. Let's um. Can I not kill here? Let's kill that thing. He sees a dime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I might be thinking of two different episodes. But yeah, that one's. That... What, 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 George? He's like, oh, sorry, a dime. He just walks across the room and picks up a dime. That reminds me of the one where, uh, was it Kenny Rogers? The chicken place opens up across uh, Kramer's apartment and he can't sleep because, like, the red light from the chicken is on all the time. <laughs> and he comes into, uh, he comes in, into Jerry's apartment, just pours some cereal, and just pours like tomato juice in there, <laughs> or maybe pours himself a glass of tomato juice. In. I thought that was milk. Oh man, think of the goggles one for George. Yeah, sorry, I was, I, but yeah, I remember the, the the Lloyd Braun one. That that one has uh, maybe the ladies on a horse too. I can't remember. Bad chicken, <laughs> gonna mess you up. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, George. What's the bit I'm thinking of? Uh, I can't find it. George gets a new pair of glasses. <laughs> uh, did he draw something? I'm not gonna coin. My, my argument is they may only have one secret. It's the Reddit post. Reddit post. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. And she's like trying to convince her he's not crazy. <laughs> it was all Lloyd Braun's fault. <laughs> Uh, did he draw another? He did not. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a Yeah, that's the one though. Yuck, look at our hand. <laughs> and look what he's already played. Oh lord. 
The Queen's power is beyond your comprehension. It's funny because I can find any Simpsons clip in two seconds, and this isn't as easy. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe just more people clipping Simpsons stuff. I, I search for it, but I can't remember exact the exact context. George. It's a lot of Lloyd Braun clips. It's a hot dog a bit. <laughs> 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 Jaina versus the Lynch King. <laughs> Kramer's physical comedy is so good. You asked for. All right, let's try to play a game where we might have a chance to win, and it won't take thirty minutes. We'll try. Maybe we just, I mean, we mulligan most of our hand. Maybe we just have to hard mull for Energy Shaper. My fan of Chris Farley's comedy. You know, I haven't seen a lot of stuff that Chris Farley has done. To be completely honest with you. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the infinitized now. Let's take that. The thing is, I really don't want to get another Vast Wisdom now. I was, was kind of hoping for it was another two cost spell. We just didn't get offered one. I guess. Um, like I've, I've, I probably, I probably saw like Tommy Boy, or like Black Sheep maybe when I was a kid, but I really don't remember them. I, I really just, I, can, I probably like only know him from. Billy Madison, where he's not really a big part, but he's funny, funny in it, but you can find this two second clip. <laughs> yeah, you need a little more, but that's pretty much it. You know? <laughs> uh, a 3 one, one I don't kill it. I kind of need to kill it, right? So let's just use this because we get to cycle it for a new spell, basically. There's some value in that. Now, we're the enjoyers. I mean, it's just the only thing you can do, especially because our deck is so bad. The only way you're going to have a chance is if you turn your whole deck into something new or uh, you um, generate an infinitize, right? So it's just like... The skits on SNL is where he was the funniest the lunch lady, the van by the river, and the instant coffee skit. I've heard of some of them. I probably haven't seen them, or at least like not in such a long time. The, the problem with some of that stuff for me is like, I just don't like SNL very much in general. I'd say just far far more often than not, those things just kind of miss for me. Wish we had a keyboard, huh? No keyboard. Hurts. Don't want to draw any of these. I guess Gangplank sort of does something, sort of. It's completely out of control on SNL. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like, SNL in general, like, I probably couldn't find five sketches that I've seen that I actually like. I've probably only seen, you know, 20 maybe. Probably couldn't find three I like. Sketch comedy in general, I feel like it's really, really hard. Stand-up comedy and sketch, sketch comedy is like... I don't know. The Kate McKinnon alien abduction one is funny. Yeah, everybody always says there's all these funny ones. I just never really... I just never find them all that funny. Spells are fun. So fun. Wait, what am I doing with my turn? Guess I can clear his board. All the best comedy is happening in arena streams. I don't know, I like I like Peak Simpsons, Peak Seinfeld, Futurama, and I don't know, like sitcom. I guess we just we just didn't watch 
Saturday Night Live, and and I didn't really watch too much Mad TV. I think I liked Mad TV more though. But I, I think if I if I had to go like sketch comedy, like um, the Chappelle Show probably always stood out as having the the, the most consistently funny stuff to me. I feel like Red related to Stuart. I kind of remember Stuart. I think he was the funniest part about Mad TV, if I recall. Chappelle Show is a category of its own. It was so much better than everything else. Yeah. Like, as somebody who just doesn't really like sketch comedy and really like the Chappelle Show, it's like, I don't know. Why would I watch... 40 years of SNL. I, I don't doubt, you know, that there was some good stuff, but I'm with Team America on this, though. Go forth. Can you stop making little shitters? These lands. Okay, can you go back to making little shitters? Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. I'd like if, if the star power hits it first or second, I think I don't have to trade my 3-4. Then what does that buy me? I guess it buys me an, an infinitize. Another frozen touch, I guess. I'll just hit him in the face. I mean, it would be nice to get those off the board, but I assume that he'll just trade them, right? I feel like you would like, love adult swim stuff. Um, I'm not sure. I liked um when I was a kid stupid stuff from the Adult Swim that I liked. I really liked the Brack show, but I probably only saw like a few episodes and Aqua Teen Hunger Force, but I probably wouldn't like it so much now, I would guess, but maybe. Um, I love Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but that probably predates a lot of people here. I was just like such a weird feeling show when I liked it. Tim and Eric? Mm. I've seen some Tim and Eric stuff and I wasn't like, I don't know. I wasn't super impressed or anything. Like some key and peel stuff, which again, I just, you know, it's fine. It's all like kind of funny. You're like kind of like always watching it like, oh yeah, I guess that's funny. The Venture Bros was gold, but required a lot of brain power to follow, which isn't bad. But sometimes I'm in a mood for brainless stuff. Uh, I never watched the Venture Bros. I, I know of it, but I, I never watched that. It's like you hear, you know, he streamed for a long time, but like even growing up, you know, people spoke. Some, I knew people who liked shows like that. What the fuck? Okay, can I get a something polymorph jellyfish? So I kind of die if I. I need to go face. Oh my god, this thing's just gonna absolutely kill me. What if I trade and then ping? He gets two nine nines. Very, I, so I can't kill it with one star power. All right. I've never hated Hearthstone more than I do right now. These have charge, so I'm just dead, right? Reverberations. So I reverberate his guy and then I ping? Does that even do me any good? I don't really know. Can I? I can almost kill him. shoot there. Maybe I do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Maybe that's better. Reverb the 9-8. But then I, I have... Oh, I could trade. I could trade for free. Yeah, maybe you're right. I trade one for free, and then I reverb the 9-9. Nine nine. Then what? I ping, ping it. But then I don't get two, right? I want two. If he doesn't heal here, he dies. If he doesn't top deck that specific card on this specific turn. Two characters out in Star Rail. Wish me luck. Good luck. I didn't realize it kept reborn. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't transform it. Is he still dead, though? That's that's the, that's the be all and the end all. Oh, that thing has charge. I have a lot of frozen touch. Okay, I think that was easily. Oh, there. Yeah, cute. You got 12. Yeah. 
Wish me luck. I do wish you luck. Save for Mommy Kafka. <laughs> You're still playing that, PJ? I mean, I'm not. I'm not faulting it. I'm. I'm telling you, man. They really make good games. Hoyovers. Plus, I'm trying to strengthen my hand by getting extra clicks. Infinitized hey, coin flippitude. That's what I'm saying. Saving for Kafka as well. Well played, Team America. <laughs> yeah, I didn't play it well. I wonder what type of sick characters I can get now that I've been AFK for two months and I can. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can wait. Infinitize right now. Lady on the bus song. Lady on the blue bus song. I didn't pick it, but YouTube did. I prefer post pop goblin core. Post pop goblin core? <laughs> I'm telling you, for all of Hearthstone's faults, the art and the and the animations and the voice acting, top notch. I would trust PJ if I were you guys. He's uh he's a big big brain gamer when it comes to this stuff. He's got the skills. I wonder if it's better to not even bother with that. Just ping, play this, and have this be our turn four. But it makes turn three so much better. Fuck. You. <laughs> I guess that card's pretty common, but that's really annoying. That have other mechs? Oh, god. I mean, it was greedy. But our deck is so bad, I think you have to be greedy. I think you kind of don't really have a choice a lot of the time with the deck this bad. You have to, you can't like just be sitting around falling behind in addition to having terrible draws every turn. Need decent DPS to round out my team. Get some good DPS. I was listening to that. YouTube. As long as oh no, that's actually quite bad. Hmm. Okay, well. Font's good for us. Well, we got the worst first hit, but a couple of the other hits were good enough that it was still a clear. Okay, what are we doing? Getting infinitize? Synthesize. So we can go two. One. Please don't burst my bubble. Infinitize. We'll take Blizzard and I'm just gonna hit him in the face. Recently became aware you can use Dream Solvent to change a boss drop to a different boss drop. As a result, now I have some rank 9 abilities, Mr. Red. Wait, talents? Wait, I don't know how to do any of that. You'll have to teach me. What do you do? The talents go all the way up to 9? All of mine are 6, and then it got hard, so I stopped. They can go up to 9? Dude, I should be doing that, rather than dicking around with my artifacts. Actually kind of nice. That's a nice trade. Um, Let's go two. They want an elemental. Let's take an elemental. That one's decent. We could have taken the... Uh, I don't want two Neftalons. Some would say that's greedy. How many do I have for this? How much win percent would mage lose if infinitize is out? At least 0.3. The artifacts needed to work. But it has paid off. I feel like, um, yeah, Miku's actually weaker now. I don't, she does less damage, but maybe her Q's better. I'm not sure. I had a piece that was like, I don't know, I felt like it was like, must have been doing something. Switched out a piece. I've got three out of the four, or three out of the five for the, for the right set now, but I don't want a blizzard here. Uh, let's hit here. First, I hate this game sometimes, especially the times where it screws me. Those are the times that I hate the most. The four piece, yeah, I'm working on. I, I could just put anything on and be kind of done with it, but for her and Kazoo, I'm just trying to get the fourth, like actual functional piece. 
I'm not really sweating it, but I'm like, I need the fourth piece, you know? But I understand I only need four now, not five, and I can just put, like, whatever the, the correct stat is for a piece, another another artifact or whatever. Three out of four? Yeah, I've, but I, I have... I could have put four-star gear on as the fourth piece, but I just refused out of spite. And then, which set do I need to roll for Benny, by the way? Because I figure at some point I can start rolling for Benny, too. You can get a drop off high enough level bosses that converts the items from one to another. At the alchemy bench. Yes, okay. I think I understand. Is this gonna be good? Probably, right? That minion already attacked. God. Alright, I'll just take it. It's fine. What is this song? This is incredible. Oh, I know this one. Playing around my, uh, nothing, I guess. The Noblest Oblige. Okay, I'll remember that. This song makes me feel like I'm riding the clouds, Mr. Red. Are you high on uh, methamphetamine? <laughs> I hope not, because that's illegal and probably dangerous. Still kind of need some help here, don't I? I don't want to ping, which means I have three. Let, let's go here. Let's ping there. Try to find some more AoE. I'm going to say if I get an Arcane Bolt, I think I'm just going to rip it this turn. To make an evolve a little less punishing. We don't need more, more Sunwells. Bosses are weekly, so I'm sure you're aware how getting that sort of thing is a hassle. Yeah, I'm doing a quest right now, and I need a weekly drop from a boss to give to somebody for like an upgrade. I've probably gotten it before and eaten it, but I'm so annoyed. I just couldn't finish my quest. Finally, I was like going through the, the frost area and finishing some of the quests that I had started like a year ago. <laughs> And then it was like, you gotta give him, like, a sword from that you can only get from one of the boss drops. I was like, oh. So I did the boss drop, and guess what? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. it wasn't right, I tell you. It wasn't right. I wouldn't even bother swinging. Alright, what are we doing here? We got shit all. Our cards do nothing. I lose that guy if I play him. Alright, let's find, uh, let's find something. Done well for two spells. I can just get a counter spell down, which will probably be somewhat functional. I can ping, which is okay. I could look for like a uh, cheap Ellie I actually want to play. These are not them. I guess I'll just take the space rock and roll. Um, I wish I could cast Volcanomancy, but maybe next turn. I don't know if you want to spend your solvent like that. You might be able to convert the thing at the alchemy bench. Oh, okay. I mean, I would love to just, I just want, I like finishing the quests. It stresses me out when I, I think I'm like probably like 95% done with it or maybe 9%. I think I just have to give it to him. <laughs> that's a good counter. Also, that's an insane shaman deck at two and one. You know, a game like this is actually kind of fun. I really wish they would just like skew the rewards so Arena wasn't so punishing just to play. I don't know, change like the, the reward structure so it doesn't feel like you're just getting constantly punished just for trying to play. Which is how it feels a lot of the time to me. Uh, let's hit this one for, for, first in case he has a uh, one-man band. He's been trying to save and get like eight charges, and you could pull it and kill pre kill a 6 6 instead of a 4 3. Apparently, there's a level 10 to these stupid talents. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I stopped at 6. I figured it was like 7 or 8 because it was getting so hard to do them. Ooh, if I, if I had that, it live. Reverberate was pretty cool. That was actually it was just a lethal, right? Deal like 40 damage. What am I supposed to do here? Simply... No. No. I just... I guess I'm just skipping turns here. Want some crown on top of the boss item now. Oh, I got a crown from something. I don't know what I did or... Oh, I got it? I got a crown now.
But maybe I only have one crown. Frankly, it ain't enough. Right, we'll reverberate that. I need to get crap out of my hand. Let's um, let's do that. Let's ping that. Let's just do this. I don't want that. I don't want that. Honestly, I don't want this either. I'll just throw an objection down. We get them from the monthly events on and off. Okay. That's where you get the crowns from. I might not have a crown then. I might have clicked something that said, like, I need a crown. <laughs> I saw a crown. There should be an option to just discard cards. Wait, why would he not hit this first? <laughs> what are you doing? Killing me here, Larry. I have a few crowns, but I'm fresh out of boss items. Now I gotta fight Zong Lee boss some more. You got you you do that. You're doing great. I gotta fight this boss, the shaman boss. I have to fight the, the purchased shaman at two and one with my horrible mage. Luckily I discovered an infinitizer I'd be done eight turns ago. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna throw a counter spell down. Throw one of those down. Eh, I mean, I'm working on killing him, I guess. Turn one mulligan on Shaman Red. No one wants to hear about this Hearthstone game, please. <laughs> Sorry. My mistake. My mistake. My poor Yoin Mia is struggling. 40% crit is enough. You gotta get her up to 50, maybe. You could do it, though. I mean, you probably can't. <laughs> you can do it. Let's get another uh, Neptulon. Never lucky. Reality. I would nuke her crit damage. No, no, what's the point of having a crit if you can't get crit damage? I wonder why people stay in games like these. These are the games I conceded 12 turns ago, and chat says, like, why did you concede? No, like, guys, I didn't want to sit through this. But, I mean, look, like, they might be learning. They might be new to Hearthstone. They might only get to play, you know, one day a month because they got a wife and a kid and jobs and a husband or who knows. They might have, you know, they might have packed the house. Well, they had two, and we dealt with them quite easily. But they might have had two more. Otaki. Was it a barcode? I don't see so many jumbled up names anymore, but I see just as many completely broken and unanswerable decks and stuff. Um, and then a lot of decks now are names that sound... I don't think the only... the only manipulated decks you play against are, are, are all bots. I think some of them are just a bunch of Chinese characters. I think some of them are, you know, Otaki. And I do think, you know, like you see us having to retire multiple decks a night. I think anybody still playing Arena doesn't really have a choice but to retire. So like the average quality of the deck just goes up and up and up and up. And the experience, you know, obviously nosedives. Good day, how's it going? Front phrase, it's going okay. Could be better, but I will say this. Could be worse. Add them all and see if they talk back to you. So they're real people playing. They're not bots. We like whoever coined the phrase bot accounts uh, did a terrible job. They're purchased accounts played by real people. They were bought. They were purchased. The accounts are farmed by bots and sold to people and played. So it's a little confusing, but they're you're playing against real people. They call them burner accounts. Yeah, burner's better. I don't buy decks and I buy runestones and I retire a lot. Yeah, look, I mean, if you're playing Constructed and you're growing a collection, you know, sure, that could make sense. But if you're just playing Arena, then you might as well just buy the deck from someone else for five bucks with, you know, twice as much gold for a tenth the price or buy the individual decks or whatever, which is why everybody does it. It just, it just makes more sense. I don't love it for, for my career and stuff, but 
at this point, if Blizzard's not going to do anything about it, then you're really not incentivized to play if you're not also cheating. Now, I am an idiot, and I still try to draft decks because that's the most fun part, but Arena's basically dead until until they address it, realistically. And hopefully this doesn't come as a surprise to you or anybody else, especially those who work at Blizzard. If you just let your game kind of suffer for months on end or years on end, like people aren't going to come back when you fix it. <laughs> They're not even going to know you fixed it because they don't give two shits about it, you know? They've got better stuff to do. They've got better games to play. They're not sitting... Like most people, not us. Us, we, we're, we're a different crew here. Most people aren't sitting around waiting for Blizzard to fix their horrific product. Most people just go and play something else. Or go watch something else, you know? I'd rather spend more and help out the industry that hurts my favorite streamers. Yeah, that's fair. The problem is supporting Blizzard doesn't incentivize them to make any changes. They get to kind of like, you know, they can stay justified in what they're doing. Which is why I try to like, even though it's not in my best interest, I try to remain honest and transparent about it. Because just like pretending it doesn't exist is kind of giving Blizzard a free pass to provide us with a ship product. Which is kind of, you know, obviously what they do. Let me take a snap. I can, get, can I get two of those or no? Let's shoot this one. Let's trade these. Let's freeze that. Play that. Thanks for the luck, Red. 27 pity, and I won a 50 50. Hey, congrats, man. I got a 12 with Mage. Had an infinitize. I had three locations. Triple fiddle, D's nuts, and a Kelp Bazud. Cool. It's fun when you do well. And that's the thing is like it's just so hard to do well right now because again people are cheating and most of us aren't. Your end is so, but if you're not gonna get a chance to do well, then you're not gonna want to play, you know? I don't want to play. I don't know what I've cast. Synthesize and the other thing. I know you one. <laughs> get that popsicle out of your mouth. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just getting Neptune. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I guess I'm taking another one. We could take Synthesize, actually. Like every game's played out the exact same, and I want to scream. Lots of strokes recently. I love the strokes. I need a star power? I have two of them. I haven't drawn either of them. That's not a star power. Let's uh, roll this for what? Five, four, four spells? Fortunately, no luck on a playable card. Alright, let's infinitize. Fire sale. Alright, best I can do. Have to give up the infinitize, but don't have what we need. Instant Crush is one of my favorite songs by him, the lead singer. Yeah, I think it's a uh, Daft Punk song, isn't it? And then he's doing the vocals over it. It's a good song. I like Daft Punk too. How do I get rid of him? Uh, these... Do I have any big beasts? Fire sale. I'm just gonna play these. Even if he has something like a lightning storm, we might be able to like... Tag some of this stuff. If we can just use this to trade with this, it's pretty good. I stepped out where our infinitize go. We gave it up so we can live. We gave it up to find the perfect answer. Not the perfect answer. Maybe the perfect answer, actually. Found a fire sale right after the pack, and we would have died probably without it. Or, you know, we were in like a two turn we die kind of situation. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How was this turn? Maybe he's devolving. He trades and devolves. Okay. Don't go face. Dude. Definitely want to trade. I guess that. No. Would you want to trade there? Definitely want to trade here. What about a fire sale here? Does that help me out at all? I can go face, 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 face and play this. It's going to clear enough and I'm not going to take that much face damage. Or I could just like trade. Not sure. Like trade here. I could like free trade here. 
I don't know if any of this is good. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Um... I mean, he's only got two cards. I have a Neptulon, and uh, it's pretty good. I got a little bit of AoE. just don't want him to have another... Um, I don't want to have a Bloodlust type card. I don't want him to have a... Uh, the infuse evolve card. I don't want him to have another shadow suffusion. Just take away a lot of the options of some of the best sh uh, shaman cards just by removing the board. He misplayed. I've never misplayed. Never have. Never will. Except a few times. Maybe today. <laughs> but we've got three Neptalons. Uh. I can kill the first Neptalon. I can probably deal with two Neptalons right now. He meant you missed played. I did play into the mist. Uh, this run has felt really fun. Bad mage. But we've got infinitized in like four out of the five games. So maybe that's not fair. Bert, how do you think we go about getting Tazni fired from her uh, bank job? <laughs> Barely gets to hang out anymore. Hey, Rampy, do you sell merch? We have a hat and a mug. I don't know if Stream Elements is still peddling that schlop. I have two of the mugs myself. Or uh, one of the mugs. I only have one of them. They're also priced at a point where we, we make no money. So it's the lowest it could possibly be priced. So that's cool. I think the hat we make like two dollars on from the other website. We were losing money initially. <laughs> it cost us one dollar to sell a hat. I was praying we wouldn't sell any. I feel like your red beard gives you powers, I do. Political powers. Actual powers. What's my best draw? Totem? Stereo totem maybe? Sorry, my nose is itching. Okay, hold on, let me let me scratch the inner wall. God, I pulled out a no Saracen's <laughs> Good lord. Oh. Tempo rewind? <laughs> Shut up. Shut your beautiful mouth up. I would have. I can't do that. Where you follow. I could. Uh ambush or zombies? I'm gonna take ambush because sometimes you play like a um Anima Extractor into a zombie and it just gets like disastrous, you know. I have the collectible t-shirt with one of those designs. I'm thinking we need to serially number them and then seed like one per order. <laughs> that seemed to drive everybody crazy with the magic card. Hey, did you open all your magic packs, Gesticulate? Did you get anything cool? Or are you, are you did you stop opening them for now? What are packs going for now? I wonder if now is the time to like grab some. Lord of the Rings Collectors. 55. Oh, how many? What? They're still going for like 400 bucks. 420? Really? 380? Why are they still going for so much? I'm eight packs in. Okay. Got some $20 range cards, but no huge hits. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's still like, there's still the serially numbered Soul Ring cards. There's still a lot of those out there, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure there's not a lot of them, but I'm sure there are a lot of them that were made that are still out there. I actually don't know really the pricing. I think there's some other like $50, $60 cards, right? Lord of the Rings. One ring. Orcish Bowmasters. Wait, I feel like Orcish Bowmasters has gone up in price. Oh my god. Went down to like 30 Back up to like forty-five dollars. Wait, I have that one. Trying to set me up for the brawl. I ain't gonna fall for it. It's just Jesse is holding out for a serial elf ring. I don't know. I wonder how many are left. Probably what, like 150, 200 maybe, a hundred. Those would be cool. Streamer mentally left. No, I'm in it, dude. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm heavily committed. He thought he could trick me into, you know, like a, like a punishing brawl. I wasn't going to fall for it. I love any ring of any sort. We got pretty much all the main characters. So like the, the non-serial numbered ones, right? Because there are, there are 
expensive, like relatively expensive, but like 50 or $60, like the one rings, like 50 or 60. And I think there are other elvish, unserially numbered soul rings. Those look cool too. I hope you get an elven ring. Serially numbered to 69. <laughs> They're not serious. Okay, yeah. Those would be cool. Those would be cool. I really wish nobody had opened the one ring and instead I <laughs> I had opened it. I wish it was still out there. It would it would just be so fun if like I don't know how long it's been. Three, four a month, a month or so. Like a month later, people are still like going crazy over them. They probably the prices of the packs would be absurd though. Right into my trap. Why? Would he do that? I have 10 revised soul rings. It'd be nice to add that to the collection. Yeah, what's a revised soul ring worth? All my local LGSs are sold out of the Lord of the Rings packs. Yeah, but like they don't, they probably don't get that. Like the collector's packs, I, I find at any of the, the big box places, they, they, um, they always sell out. Like they're not, it's not like they're like continuously replenishing them. In, in my experience. Like 10 bucks, they were uncommon, so there are a lot out there. Okay. They look cool, though. An open packs would be double the price, probably, in a few months. Maybe triple. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? People were going crazy. They were already, like, going for, like, over $500 for a case of, what, 12? They are already going over, like, $40, $45 a pack. It was a little much. I'm not frozen touch. I'm just going to take a freeze because it's cheap. Uh, I have some mechs in the deck. Where's my infinitize? I can't believe we've gone like a whole game without an infinitize. Oh, I thought I still had a coin. Here, let's ditch this. I mean, I don't what the fuck is this in? I have two unlimited soul rings that are closer to $100. Oh, okay. I could never, even as a kid, like tell between unlimited and revised and stuff. I think that he didn't get two of them. We burn a card to play that. I like guess it's probably not worth it. <clears throat> Banger. Banger alert. Unlimited wrote out tap. Revise had the angle T. Okay. It went it went alpha and then beta and then revised. Is that how it went? And then unlimited? Were those the first four sets? I have a follow-up question. Alpha, beta, unlimited, revised. Okay. So... Hold on, hold on. I take my turn in Hearthstone. So, which ones were, like, black and white bordered? So, like, alpha was black bordered, and then beta... Unlimited and revised. Were they all white borders? Thank you in advance. I don't want to play that. Fucks my mothership. Alpha black border with more curved corners. Okay, the corners were different. Alpha and beta both had black borders. Okay. It was stupid of your opponent not to choose the mage class. <laughs> Big foolish. Should have bought a, a different uh, a different hero. Good morning, Red. What's up, Leah? How are you? Beta black border, normal card shape. Okay. And then revised and unlimited were both white border. Am I right about that? Am I correct? Yeah, I'm right about that. I don't know shit about shit. Yeah, okay. I guess that's not that bad. Uh, it's not that bad because I have this. I think I probably could get an ethel, you know what I mean? What if he has a fires? <laughs> Couldn't be good, I guess. Halfway through to the weekend, nice. Nice. This weekend's gonna be great. I don't know what's gonna happen, but something amazing, probably. Alpha, beta, and unlimited all had identical cards. Revised dropped the OP cards. And pulled in some Arabian Knights and Legends and Antique cards. Okay, hold on. I have some... Some more follow-up questions now because I'm a little confused. 
And this is somebody who played Magic for 50 years. I was always those were always confusing the first couple sets. Also, I have too many damn cards. Oh, can I just pick up this and get Reverberate? Uh, basically, yes. Okay, I thought the first four sets were the ones we were talking about. Or that just the order of those four. I'm sure I could type this on Google, but... So did they go Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, and then a bunch of sets, and then they did Revised? That's the order of the four core sets. Okay, so what was in Revised that was really powerful that wasn't in the first three or anything else before then? No Snap Freeze? No, no, no. You don't want to Snap Freeze there. Then you have to uh, win the game, and then your Mage Run's going to be over sooner, and then the stream's going to be over. <laughs> Revised didn't introduce any brand new cards. Oh, you say it, sorry, it dropped the OP card, so it got rid of Black Lotus and the Moxes and stuff. I think you took Code of High Drum Kit. Yeah, it was very obvious to everyone. <laughs> I didn't care because I had Lethal. None of us care about Lethal. Hey, Alum Gear. Nice tongue. <laughs> nice tongue. I got rid of the power nine and pulled in some cards that were in older expansion sets. Okay. I was looking for some magic, like graded stuff, just random kind of cards. I was like, oh, it'd be cool to have one. Just see what the prices were like. There's really not a lot of graded. People don't really grade magic cards the same way they grade Pokemon cards, it seems like, at least on the same quantities. Or maybe there's, I don't know, less people buying them or less of them out there. I don't know what I was looking for. There was just something. Sometimes you can get like a, with a with a base set hollows. I was getting PSA sevens. I gotta get back into that. I still gotta. I got more. I gotta grab. Wait, why would he not ping it? <laughs> but uh, I figured if I get some PSA seven magic cards that look cool and have a little slab, I was like, oh, that'd be cool. But it's just, it was hard to find anything. Arabian Nights packs were eighty dollars. Legends were forty, and Antiquities were twelve, and the Dark were eight. Those were the first expansions. Why were they so expensive? What the frick? This seems illegal. <laughs> that ain't right. I played that. I played those two. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna hold my stuff here. Let him do his stupid stuff and hold my stuff. They're already tough to find and Magic was getting popular very fast. That's crazy. $80? I think packs were like $3.29, 4 bucks. I think they were like 3 or 4 bucks. When I started for everything, but we weren't we weren't opening packs of like those old sets. It's so funny to think about like if you had just like bought all that stuff, like how rich you'd be. <laughs> but it's like, well, why don't you just buy all this crap now? It's like, well, now you won't be rich in 20 years. You have this useless cardboard. It's a real scam. 295 for normal packs, baby. I remember Pokemon packs being like 325, I think. Yeah, maybe two ninety five. I, I mean, as a kid, you don't really even know because like your parents probably like bought, you know buy you a pack or two here or there. I don't even really remember. I remember I got a five dollar allowance, but like once a month, <laughs> and I would save up like five months to go and buy like, you know, five packs of cards like Pokemon or, I mean, really it wasn't so much Pokemon. It was like baseball cards and basketball cards, and then at some point probably Magic cards. I was buying most of my own packs. I was very aware. Yeah, you're very smart. I was I was a dumb child. But Legends packs were five dollars, and the next week they were forty dollars. Sounds mad crazy. Crazy. Five, four. So no matter what, this is a full clear. But what I can do, I don't have to use this. I guess he can just kill my guy. So I should utilize these things that I have that are kind of crappier. That are a little harder to get value from. We'll do this in case we get an infused elemental. I'm not even sure if there is one. Star power is always good. Whereas like dealing four with these little shitters isn't always going to be as good. My dad offered me 25 cents weekly allowance. He said he'd take away a nickel for each time I didn't do my chores. I used to like ask my dad if I could like mow the lawn in 120 degree heat for eight hours if I could have a dollar. <laughs> and he would say no. <laughs> He's like, well, you gotta go out and mow it anyway. I'm like, what the frick? It's a horrible deal. 
But I suppose I didn't have a lot of uh, negotiating power at the time. Good thing you didn't do your chores. Yeah, right? Well, I'm not going to do them then. What are you going to do? Kill me! It's a kid! <laughs> you can't kill me. Good luck. I bought Moxus for $55. Do you still have them? Kind of cool if you did. <laughs> You'd be cooler if you did. Darn it. It's dumb, dude. Because I lost the 50 50. I gotta give up two Murlocs. I think if I had... What if I had hit the, the big one first and the small one second? I think I would have still had to give up one or no? 5, 3, 2, 1. It would have done 11. I don't have them anymore. That's okay. The important thing is that you are not dead. Bum, 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 bum. Shall be cleansed. Honestly, this is probably better. 12 damage. I can almost kill him. I could fireball his face. Doesn't seem great. We'll see. If I had spent the same amount on tech stocks in the mid 90s, I would have made out far better. <laughs> yeah, true. Dumb kid not buying Apple stock. <laughs> you really fucked up. <laughs> No, it's probably okay though, because you got cool cardboard and, and you have like a nice childhood too, right? And that matters. It matters to me. <laughs> a great time playing Paper Magic for years. It can be wonderful. Just like I have a great time playing digital car uh, Hearthstone these days. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Fifteen. Fifteen. Stop hero powering and gaining life, please. Uh, this can't be good. If I traveled back in time to the 30s, I'd be no better off than I am now. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I don't really have much of an idea of what I'm doing right now. What I am doing trying to do twice. I would know what's coming, but I got no idea how to make them. Yeah, okay. River on the legendary, double three, two, 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 12 damage, how's that work? That's actually a really good question. Is that like a billion damage? Or do, I, or do they not stack, kind of like Bran? Probably like Bran, it doesn't stack. It doesn't say like your arcane spells double, which is I think what you'd actually need it to say to, to really be kind of nifty there. Paid ninety dollars stock and they're worth forty five hundred now. But I did buy Apple stocks. My dad was brutal. He told me I was throwing away my money for nothing. Are you guys still in contact? Are you guys still friendly? You remind him of that. <laughs> dad, remember when you gave me horrible investing advice? I don't really know what I'm doing with that. I guess I don't ever need this. Oh, I should not convert anything. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if I did? Up you just get like a whole new strategy this way. That's okay. It's actually better for like this turn and probably next turn. And with him at, uh, how much is deal? With him at, um, maybe we should have held that. But if you get him to swing, then you can do these things. Um, with him at back up to 23, the, the arcane bolts and stuff don't actually work out as well. Do the reverberation? No, I know how it works. It doesn't say double, it says twice. So each one makes them cast twice. So they each cast twice each time for a total of two times. Sort of like Bran. How it says your battle cries trigger twice, two brands doesn't quintuple, doesn't quadruple your battle cries. He spent his whole career pretending it was the Great Depression, but he just retired and doesn't know what to do with all of his money. <laughs> well, I hope he can live comfortably and happily. I do. And I'm sorry your dad didn't know. I'm sorry your dad thought he was a time traveler his whole life. Boom, 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 boom. 
Firelands Portal. I want to end my turn real fast so I can see what I get from him. Riot! The 4-6, if they don't have a, um, a spell in their hand, should discard one from their deck. Burst forth from his loins so it wasn't all bad. No, no. Sounds like there's some good there, too. The bursting and the loins. I have a click clock in my deck. I guess what I can do is just push these. Where's this from? Just drawn, so it could be a spell. Sure. Does that help me? Takes four. Keep the two. Goes down to three. Goes back up to five. I guess he's dead if he doesn't have something that does something. People wouldn't even believe I'm from the future and I would get stuck there. Oh, you'd definitely be stuck there. Uh, okay. What could I draw? Where you followed? Cheat death, perjury. I guess I'll just cheat death. Whatever I get will be uh will be good. I guess I can't play that. And how many mechs do I have? I have one mech. I right, fuck it. I'm sure I'll draw my mech next turn. Why can't they just have given me? Polymorph and double reverberate. We had three out of our 11 cards were lethal there. I need a rewind? I don't know. I need arcane intellect? Yeah, give me that. Well, actually, that's not that good. You can kill the 2 2, then I can kill the 4 3. Interesting. Okay. I can ping there and just play these. Excuse me, they're just dying here. Wish she didn't top deck that one. There's a chance that he may top deck a uh, an execute here, and he'll have to discard it. That will be pretty cool. Bum, 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 bum. We take 6, 10, 13, 14, and he's at 15. Hmm. Alright, 6 wins. No infinitize this game. Crazy. How can we get so unlucky? It ain't right. I'm not reading that. I can't. I can't understand it. None of that seems too appealing to me. How are we winning games? Man, we've only energy shapered what once or twice? It's probably been wrong. <laughs> I think we did that game, right? That last game we did. I feel like I want more energy shapers. I feel like I do want more energy shapers. I can't do that. Really good news for anybody who's been, you know, wondering. I uh Got some more cashews at the store today. I was running low. Got a got a crap load of cashews now. I hit him for four, right? If he doesn't have any healing, it could matter. I could trade my four one into his one three. It's ridiculous. Four mana, cold case. Party animal plus uh, three four elemental. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, I don't really care about that. I'm not gonna trade it. I care, but there's nothing I can do. Um, now I care, man. Do I care about that? Just skip my turn. Uh, fine. I get to kill two minions. We managed to kill two three twos effectively. Since I didn't have another play, I guess I'll take it. Up your cheeks at the start of the stream and slowly snack throughout the night. <laughs> this may just be my best song yet. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. 
The problem with cashews is they stop treating them like they cost an arm and a leg once they're in my house. Yeah, they're expensive, dude. Cashews, pistachios. I watched a YouTube video on how they like package and prepare uh, uh, cashews. And it's like 30,000 people like unshelling or like like individual cashews. I'm like, okay, we probably need to be paying for this stuff. I, I was astonished there wasn't like a better automated system for this. But apparently there's not. Like just hundreds of people like throwing in like one cashew. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay for that. I buy peanuts to save money. Yeah, but a peanut is a far inferior nut. <laughs> and it's, I like peanuts. I never really want more than like two peanuts, you know? What to make butter or something out of the fruit? Oh, I bet it doesn't go to waste. That being said, I also understand nothing. Five, four, three, two, one, ping. Actually, why ping when you can win a 50 50? And then what we can get is a one cost elemental. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Like nuts in my mouth. Yes. Yum. You definitely want, don't want to consume them through your butt. I eat the peanut with the shell. Ugh. Really? What are you, an animal? I'm an almond man. I like almonds. I like almonds, pistachios, cashews. I'm, I'm thinking about trying to like, you know, reintegrate some more nuts into my, into my daily routine. I'm a human. <laughs> yeah. What a human. What a human you are. Nothing to ping, so I guess I'll just kill this. Makes it evolve a little less good. Don't you dare laugh at that. Ooh, man. Sorry. Shouldn't laugh. You gotta get your fiber, Red. Are there fiber in those things, or do I need to eat something else? Macadamia nuts are true opulence. I've never had a macadamia nut. Do you think I'll like it? I need to venture out into macadamia nuts and, um... The... Illustrious Pecan. Five, four, three, two. Where you followed? Uh, Dragon TV. Thank you for your follow, Dragon TV. Great to have you here. Truly, it really is. I used to eat the peanut shell and all too. It's probably tearing up your insides. You're probably ripping up your your colon sphincter. All the shell eaters. <laughs> All the shell eaters. Are you okay? Clearly they're not. Why did I draw so many cards and none of them do anything? A little, uh... A little upset with that. Uh, did they have the offering rate for pack? Uh, he discovered Pack from his Ghost Rider. I don't think they. No, I mean, I know they didn't. They have not done any any adjustments in eight weeks, ten weeks, ten weeks. Face, darn it! Second best hit or third best? I eat clams with the shell. I eat, <laughs> I eat turtles with the shell. What do you think about that? I googled and it's definitely not recommended to eat peanut shells. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't advise that. As a peanut advisor, I'd, I'd advise against eating the shells. Can I tell you guys a story and I, I don't want you guys to repeat it. So just, you know, don't don't say I told you. Huh? Mm. Um, someone here, one of our friends in this community, let's just call him a les mm, let's just call him a les he uh he got in trouble once with his landlord because he ate a bunch of pistachios and threw all the shells in the toilet and then when his toilet clogged he called him out and they like unclogged it and there was like four thousand uh pistachio shells in his toilet and they're like how did these get here and he's like yeah i really don't know <laughs> and he tried to convince him he didn't know how they all got there <laughs> So, you know, anyway, it could always be worse. Just the tools of Squirrel problem. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, man. I don't want.
want another one of these. I can't remember what I played. Oh, that's good. That's the one I want. Right, I feel better about this game. It went well. At least he didn't unflush some droogs. What's the droog? Must have been built on an ancient pistachio pillar barrel. <laughs> He got in trouble with the landlord and he was... He had to come out. You gotta get, ask him to tell the story. <laughs> smart using pistachios. It was smart. He's a very smart guy. Makes you think Aliz was eating the pistachios while on the toilet. The alternative is Aliz took the empty shells to the toilet just to flush them. Probably a combination of the two. Well, with the backup level that he reached. Like such a high level. You will flush all sorts of terrible things down the toilet. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The terrible things I flush down the toilet, uh, you know, aren't terrible. Equal matter and whatnot. Oh, um, did we get- can we get any new followers? We had, um, Dragon TV and, uh, GG guy. Thank you. Cans of cola? <laughs> I didn't do that. I was just kidding about that story. This story hits all the marks. Tension, <laughs> intrigue, and drama. You're goddamn right about that one. Hence, dramatic. Cola. It had all. It had it all. All the markers of a great Scorsese film. The hero's journey. I still don't want zombies because people play Anima and I lose. I guess I'll just take Ambush because people play Anima and I might not lose. Uh, Dorman, thank you for the follow. How many wins did the mage from yesterday get? 12. I think it's probably going up to the YouTube. Let's just keep that in mind. Sorry, gas is just escaping me. Horrible. It looked like a 12-win deck at start. I said it looked like a 20 win deck. We also um, got that really cool clip if anybody wants to uh, check it out on the YouTube, probably. Unbelievable clip. A game and a clip unlike anything I've ever seen in Hearthstone. After uh, playing Hearthstone on stream every day for over five years, but playing Hearthstone most days for like eight or nine years. Oh, wait, they can just see it in chat now. <laughs> so I was trying to guide them. <laughs> I was trying to guide them over there. Everybody here is already all in. They're already all in on Redbeard. <laughs> Shut up, Redbeard. Yeah, that was a good one. Iberius was there. I remember that. I remember each and every person that was there when that was happening. I mean, it's used two swings from an imbued axe and gotten zero buffs. I'm kind of completely okay with that. Uh, I'm less okay with that. Okay. <laughs> Much... Wait. I can get... I can get the 5-5. Five five. I just need to find Gorilla Bot. Yet. I missed Gorilla Bot already. <laughs> Too many mages recently, mate? Against me? Yeah. I wish I played against more... I wish I played against fewer mages. Nice clip. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, I haven't really played a mage in what, like a month now? I, I really, I never get mage. It's not right. It ain't right. I really put a lot of work in that clip. You did great. Thank you for clipping that. I was trying to do it on the fly. It's kind of hard if you don't, if you don't get in like right away and you got a clip from the VOD, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Plus I'm like trying to play and reach at and then I'm trying to get the right timing on the clips too. Because if you mess it up a little bit, like cut off like a word, it bothers me, so. But I was like, oh, okay, we'll gesticulate. He's a pro clipper. Okay, Gorilla Bot, give it to me, baby. I'm still so many turns away from uh, doing what it is I need to do if I get a Gorilla Bot. Dude, this would have been so sick. I guess I need reverberations at some point, too. I'll need more. This kimchi never misses a beat, I'm telling you. I, I, I'm i with you. I'm typing words over here. Oh, counter spell, great. He could have a, uh, could have a spell, actually. Mm. Could have, like, a brawl, and he's just, like, trying to come back, like, from his... Over here. Crazy, that was his best play. Maybe he thought he was drawing spells or something. Maybe my play is like jellyfish. Find the find the burn, maybe. 
We can only play one, one, five drop here, even though he has 30 of them in his hand. Hmm. Fuck, what if that was objection, you goon? It's worst case scenario for us. Worst case is he plays a card, removes a card, gains a lot of life. Can still only play one five here. We are running out of time for like a counter spell to even be possibly useful. I mean who knows? Some some minions create spells or whatever, but he doesn't respect you enough to play around objection. Yeah. Yeah, he did he did pause. But he did seem to think about it, darn it. Okay, counter very good in there. I'm glad we got some value. If I might, I can freeze his guy. He's probably not going to do anything. Eh, get some extra damage at the very least. I guess I'd still rewind because probably he doesn't have any more spells, or if he does, they're not necessarily going to be good. Wouldn't be my, I wouldn't be, be uh, opposed to just dropping a secret here, but. Try that. I vote we kill him. I'm trying here. Oh lord. Okay, I can jelly that. Can't jelly that. That's okay because I can kill it. I vote what Imp Bloody voted for. I'm inclined to vote for the same thing as him. Alright, 8 wins with one of the worst mage decks I've drafted this entire meta. And it's a testament to how stupid mage is that this deck um, can have this much success. Whereas basically every deck from every other class can't have this much success. Even though they're... He was upset at the end of the draft. He missed the good cards. <laughs> It's a, it's a testament to the experience, right? Where every mage you play against has four spell coilers. So when you finish your deck with zero, it's like, oh, what the fuck? Or one, you're like, oh my god, only one. And you really are probably still at a disadvantage. But it's hard, man. It's hard playing this every day. So what do we have? We have double star power. Okay, that's absurd. We have double reverberation, which is good, but like, I'd rather have double spell coiler than double reverberation so I can get... One infinitize and one uh, and one reverberation. Uh, we got energy shaper though. That's a nice one. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess we have Volpira, which is sort of like spell coiler, but worse. It's similar though. It's like a one mana more expensive uh, spell coiler. We have a vast wisdom too. That's all you need though, right? I guess. Like that's why we were able to get to eight. First, like four or five games. Such a shit card against schooling. Like, all you need is, like, two or three of those cards. And, like, the first four or five games, we had an infinitize. So we started out, like, five and one or something. One deck of each class and also play Balloon, keep a Yuppie, and a fake living room to determine the true winner. I, I, you remember? I, I, told, I told this anecdote. They asked me to do that. Somebody asked me. And I was like, hell no. That sounds stupid. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be the laughing stock and... I was like, how much prize money? And they're like, nothing. I was like, what do you get? Just a stupid trophy? And they're like, well, yeah, but it's a really stupid trophy. I'm like, ah. And like, you'll have to fly out somewhere else, compete more. I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't want to do any of that. And then Dred's is like, I got this big announcement. <laughs> like, something incredible is happening. And I, I, like, I'm going to tell you guys in like two days. It's like, oh my God, what is it? You know, like something. And he's like, yeah, I've been invited to compete in this very illustrious balloon tournament thing. I'm like, what? That thing I turned down? Had I known that he was in it, I would have just absolutely demolished him. That would have been prize enough. My agile demeanor and my strategic thinking, but wish you'd gotten the trip to Barcelona. I didn't I didn't want to go to Barcelona. I, well, I wouldn't want to do that. 
Could have kept some high school girls' butts live on TV. Yeah, he did fight some children in that. <laughs> and he spiked the ball <laughs> or the balloon. I watched the, the clip. It's just him spiking the ball the whole time. And they're like, this is a warning. And he's like, no, no, I wasn't spiking it. It's like, um, I'm pretty sure you were because the ball went down when you hit it. <laughs> Stupid game. And then didn't somebody break their spine in there? Didn't Dreads break someone's spine in that living room? What's your favorite spell in the game? Not the best, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Like in arena right now? Man, I really, I feel like part of it is like, you can't even really like build fun decks. Probably one of the curse cards. Probably like drag below or something like that. Love the curse cards. Historically, it's kind of hard to say the jade cards, the curse cards, they're effectively kind of the same. What the fuck? They're effectively kind of the same. The same concept. But I like the jades and the curses. I'm gonna have to look, I guess. Fires? I mean, like, fires is such a cool card to be the one casting and then immediately just feels so bad, you know? So, like, fires is just like... It, fires should cost five or something. Make fires cost five. And then I think I have more interest in it. I guess I kind of like hitting it because he loses one spell damage. The new DK cards coming up remind me of Curse, so that should be fun. Are those the Plague cards? I haven't really read them, but yeah, it kind of it was reminiscent of that. What does he do here? Fire Ellie would have been really bad. I think Cold Storage isn't as bad because if he plays it here, it's just not putting any pressure on us, you know? Okay, this is a little worse. Oh wait, I can get my own rag. I hope it hits the 1-3. I really hope it hits the 1-3. Oh my god, let's give him a wow. Holy shit, do I take two rags? <laughs> do I take two? I can't take two rags and ping it. I guess I could take two rags and shooting star it, huh? 16 face damage. He might not have two instances of damage, no? Let's want a copy of a minion. Dude, if I could silence them, that'd be so sick. Do it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. He has to deal with them, and or die. And he, right now, on board, he can't deal with them at all. We know he has our pirate in his hand, and a random spell. I guess a spell is possible, like a jam session or something. That does nothing. That does nothing. <laughs> He's dead. That's crazy. He's dead on board. <laughs> How cut this be? Dude, you really fucked up. <laughs> Playing... Playing one of your cards against a mage. <laughs> That's great. Wow, Hearthstone's great. That escalated quickly. <laughs> took 32 in two turns from his own 8-drop. <laughs> Hearthstone. It's very stupid. Very dumb. But that was pretty cool. Priest level of rude. That was that was uh that was rude. That would be bizarre. Fuck you, Hearthstone. Big hog. Oh, whatever, you know? Is that a big yeti? It'll be a big hog. It'll be uh something. It'll be Sasquatch. Alone, you would need just a few years. Okay, how about if I have nothing to do with it and somebody else just does it and I play it? How long will that take? Maybe, say, a crackpot super team of 14 giga coders? Can we have it done by next Tuesday? <laughs> what the frick? Did I really not click the button? I just had to pee. You're in Hearthstone Daily Moments. It better be my quadruple pyroblast. Can you link it, please? Thank you. Jaina versus Thrall! You are in the court of the elements now. You asked for. Okay, um. It's a pack opening, really? That's not cool. Not a quadruple pyroblast? Look at this nine win mage hand. It's, again, it's a testament to the power of, uh,. A couple of cards is all you really need. I'm just so much more impactful than everything else. The entire video is named based off of your clip. <laughs> just cut it. <laughs> Redbeard, you scamp. You precocious little scamp. There's an argument to maybe just play this, force him to trade, keep the 4 1. But, you know. Yeah, they named the whole video after me. Are you just going to reverberate uh, Titans next patch? I actually don't know what Titans do. 
When are all the cards out? How many more cards? Oops, that's my bank account. How many more cards need to be uh, revealed? Let's be appalled if you caught wind. <laughs> yeah. I like this song. Came on the other day. Oh, they're playing the Terragram Ballroom in November in LA. Love the Terragram Ballroom. I only saw a couple shows there. Man, that place was cool. Need an answer. <laughs> do I have to double shoot it? This doesn't do much. I guess... I really don't want to take six. This looks like shit, but... I don't want to take six and then have him evolve a five. I don't feel bad. I don't want that either. Now was that dragon crap? What the play? Gladly. A thirst beyond death. So what am I doing? I'm killing one. I'm freezing one. We could evolve this. I don't know if this is better or not. Um, at least he doesn't get a free kill and evolve. Here he can like run both in here, but that's not as appealing, I think. Oh, um, does anybody want to follow? We got swag money. We got lighter blade. We're trying to get to 40,000 followers. We have 39,091 right now. It's only nine more and then 900 more after that. So it was kind of like we're close. <laughs> the power of the hairy toes. God damn. I, okay, if the guys from Hearthstone Daily Moments are listening, I want to say something to them sometime. Thank you, and you're welcome. All the years of clips. Seems mutually beneficial, no? People like that stuff. They love the little clips. Oh man, if he skips his turn, that'd be helpful for me. Certainly would. Computer just caught a virus or something. You could be trying to set up like a lightning storm, you know? I'm not really falling for it. Not yet. Where you followed. You'll have to cast cards at some point. Shall be Space Rock does so something. So. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him, try to let him come back, because you know I don't like to win like this. I just hope they can make it back in time. I'm confused about short form content. Seems like a lot of people watch them. The payout is tiny. Yeah. What's the confusion? Sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. I'd say those two things are true. So I think, I think personally, uh, yeah, without any follow-up questions, like shorts are good. Short, like super short form content, YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and... Mr. Red, can you cook potatoes efficiently? Put them on the YouTube shorts. I could. Uh, noob, 1999, well, 19,997. Thank you for the prime, man. Wow. Cool. Everybody, I will uh, use this moment to say, make sure you're using your Twitch Prime. You don't have to use it here, but I appreciate it if you do. Like Mr. Noob. But make sure you're linking your account if you have Amazon Prime, because it's a free sub and streaming is hard, and sub revenue is down across the board for everyone, so... If, if you can't sub, but you got an Amazon Prime, just make sure you use it. We got Cantaloupe on. We got Shady Bunny. We had uh, Hapa Bear earlier. We got a lot of friends on. So again, if you if you absolutely despise me, as you're here, that's weird. But two, you can go use it on McBanterface or Aw Dragon or Bunny Hopper. They're out there. It's worth it. I wonder. I'm gonna go look and see when my Prime is available. Just as a reminder that it, you have to manually do it every week or uh, every month, sorry. Resubscribe. My Prime is available starting. Um, I can't see. Uh -huh. Wait, can I see it on someone else's channel? What to do? What uh, what to am do? I doing here? This. So fun. Uh, August 3rd, mine's, up, mine's back up. <laughs> The Sub revenue's down. Sorry, I'm late. The news about them losing their big players. Well, they give you the same percentage, but I don't get as many people subbing, so <laughs> that's not as good. 
do that. Oh, I'll just do this because it's actually uh, proactive and productive. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, some you know, it ebbs and flows. Sometimes you have more subs and sometimes you have less subs. But when you have less, each individual Twitch Prime is that much more valuable. It's a higher percentage of uh, your existence, financially at least. I like this song, it's very nice. Yeah, it's nice to get rid of that. Okay, uh, what is this? Divine Tolls? Actually pretty strong next turn. Uh, what else we got? This is trash. Eh, eh, okay. Yeah, we still have a 70-30 split here actually, which is kind of crazy. Uh, through our, uh, the, um, Team Liquid, uh, partnership. Click some buttons here. Dispersing it amongst two two bodies e evenly, I mean, it's all luck, but that's actually a lot better. If he has, like, an asphyxiate, he may still be dead here. Remember, he has five mana. I have a 14-16 worth of stats on board, which is, uh, again, kind of absurd. Kind of absurdo loco. It's kind of hoping they're just instantly conceded. I don't know if they're dead on board, actually. So I'm not really like trying to BM or anything, but it did look that way. Organized labor is happy labor. You gotta organize a little bit. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta know what you're building. You gotta know which wood blocks you're chopping. I kind of like a, a, like a close cropped beard. I like to do a one on the mustache. And then I'll do a three on the beard. And then I'll do a two under, just because I feel like I'm doing something cool. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look any different on any of them. But it's fine. That's my, that's my, uh... Yeah. And then sometimes, I'll do like a, like I'll actually like take a little disposable razor and like get all this. Just like, just hair all over the place. I mean, the click clock's great if I have only specifically gorilla bot but i kind of like hard mulling here because hey we get a better curve here but you're looking for a couple of very very specific powerful cards right what song is this oh yeah i know this one hey redbeard would you think about putting all the full-time stream videos on youtube besides the edited videos i would love to watch all the full streams i miss like the whole pod i don't think so people just won't won't really watch that um as consistently um but the vods stay on twitch so all, all the vods are, are automatically um uploaded to twitch i know some people have twitch like blocked at their work though it's kind of tough because if you put up a bunch of stuff on um on youtube that that's just like people just really don't care about it can actually hurt you the more stuff you release that that people don't you know like uh, if you if you do a bunch of like um single games or like uh like uh, set reviews people just don't like that as much but i like to throw them up sometimes because they're kind of cool games or clips or whatever but it actually can be um detrimental for your for your channel at times as silly as that is YouTube will promote your stuff, you know, less aggressively or less often or not that our YouTube generates a ton of anything, but less than a small amount is kind of bad. I think some streamers have separate channels for their VODs. Yeah, sometimes. We could talk to Mr. Refuge. You can see if he'd be, he'd be willing because he does all of that for me still. A lot of it's automated, um, but we could ask him. I just don't see him so much right now because he's been he got a new job where he's he's working a little more uh a little more i'm forcing him to do stuff he doesn't necessarily have life gain i'd love to draw firelands portal and then cast this and like something else maybe and uh shit i should have thought about that honestly
mean, they always have that card. I think it's a lot of uh, work for insig insignificant payout. Well, uploading your entire VOD to YouTube isn't a lot of work. I mean, you have to come up with, like, a new thumbnail or whatever, probably. But, like, it's not a lot of work. Mm, kind of funny. This could be a Scourge. It could be a, It could be worse than the Scourge. All right, well... I'm gonna do this. I know it kind of is what it is, but maybe he only gets one hit. It stops him from keeping like a 6-2 on board. I also hate the end of this song, at least on stream. Just join the stream. Congrats on the uh, good luck. Uh, good, 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 good. Congrats on the final boss. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you know, we'll see. It's close. Feels like we've been ahead the whole game. Good drop a pack the house. Goes up to 15. That's a problem. Oh, here we go again with the damn thing. Firelands. Oh man, a reverberation. I'm gonna take the reverberation. It looks kind of crazy, but let's do this. Trade here, play the counter. I think I'll try to get like a. Uh... Yeah, that's actually really good with energy shaper. Getting a counter down here is really nice, but. It's nice to get this, this, you know, play this this turn, and I can play this next turn, and then two turns from now, because we played this this turn, we can uh, convert the spells into something many, maybe meaningful. 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't a 2-2, two, two, though. Wow. Takes one extra damage here. I guess I kind of have... convention, such a hack of them. Crazy 12 win game. Very easy. Is Dreads going to the convention? He's such a hunk of junk. <laughs> uh, he's not going. I'm actually kind of bummed. Don't tell him. I, I mean, he knows I want him to go and he wants to go, but damn guy had sex and now he's having another kid. Uh, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, follow, comment, all that crap. I'm trying to mark it as I go. Hit all the buttons. Thank you very much if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you very much if you're here from Twitch means a lot. <laughs> I put up a couple the other two days ago. The last few days I put up a few. We're, we're hurting. Thank you so much Refuge Geek. Thank you so much Igno Tracer. Um, at the last TwitchCon, I needed a nap every day and everywhere I went it was 20 year old half naked women and I just wanted to hang out with Dreads because he was the only other old person there <laughs> that I could relate to. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do at this TwitchCon. Maybe voice call him at one day or something. Thank you very much.